up Sagittarius and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys May mid month reading let's get right to it let's see what's going on with you guys now this is going to cover from about May 15th to June 15th and this is going to be for Sun Moon rising and Venus Sagittarian signs so let's hop right in now guys do remember that I do post daily energies every day on Instagram high vibrations 44 if you want to check that out so let's jump right into things what is going on for the sign of Sagittarius? All right, y'all. So we have your past, your present, and your future. Okay. So the energy that you guys have is a strength card in the verse. So if, it's, if this isn't something that could be debilitating for you, then it's something that you're putting far too much effort in that doesn't, you know, deserve this type of effort. Now you have the queen of swords in the verse behind that and the emperor in the verse behind that. So this could be debilitation that comes specifically because of someone who's not being honest in a situation and someone feeling like they heavily need to guard themselves from this. So let's see what this is about. All right. So the first card that you guys have for the past is the justice card. So with this justice card, um, it could be a karmic situation that you're dealing with. Um, it could have something to do with, you know, a legal process, something like that. But let's see why it's here. You have the nine of cups and you have the eight of cups so maybe you were happy to move away from something that was karmic here okay so that is what I'm seeing someone who's happy to move away from something that's karmic um, and there could have been something that was just not genuine about whatever it was that you guys chose to move away from now with the devil card in the reverse I do see that you guys are removing yourselves from something that was toxic or detrimental for you in some way shape or form eight of wands in the reverse so you're no longer engaging in this if it's a person you're not speaking to them um, or maybe they're not speaking to you keep in mind guys all the energies here could be transferable so if it's not some sort of um, you know, if it's not someone that you're cutting off or it's not something that you're doing, it could be another person that's doing it. Page of Cups in the reverse, again, so something that just wasn't sincere, you guys removing yourself from it, knowing that maybe you don't see eye to eye with someone or something just wasn't working in a conducive way for you and someone's, you know, upset about that. Now, your soul isn't. Okay, regardless of how this came about, with the temperance card, and sorry guys, let me just lower this music. Okay, so with the temperance card here, your soul is actually very at ease with what you're letting go. It's, it's you know, it's like it's relieve, uh, releasing a huge burden here. You have the king of pentacles in the reverse, and you have the ten of wands, okay? For some of you, this could have been something that either A, was uh, making you lose money or overspend, or it could have been something that you or someone involved in this, they just weren't genuinely invested. So that could be where the burden was coming from. Um, at this point, I feel like you guys have gotten past, you know, um, what was the roughest about this, but it's still a sense of having to move past it. Now, in your present moment, the first card that you guys have is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So this is when things take an unexpected turn, something that we don't necessarily see coming. And it's, you know, usually it's not something that's working in our favor. Now, you have the Death card in the reverse. So whatever this is attached to or tied to, it's still in your life. But things I don't feel are going as planned with this because of a huge change that's occurred. So there's something, you know, that's shaking the ground, you know, beneath you where... You have to look at a situation clearly for what it is, and you have to take that blindfold off, and you have to act accordingly with what the truth of something is, okay? So there's going to be something that could be disappointing or heartbreaking for you guys to turn your back on, but when you do turn your back on this with the Three of Wands, you expand in a huge way, and you have a very emotionally you know, fulfilling new beginning that comes in for you. Now, here's your next card for the present moment, and this is the card, uh, this is the middle card of the spread. This is what every card, you know, ties into, and we have the Ten of Cups. This is extreme happiness, okay? So let's see why this is showing up here. Sorry, guys, like 20 cards fell, so I'm not going to look at that. So why is this Ten of Cups here? 
you have the Knight of Cups, so maybe some of you are happy with the water energy around you, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could also be when we're really just in tune with ourselves and our emotions and what we want and what we need. And, you know, we're not afraid to be vulnerable and all that. And you guys have the Two of Cups here. So this could be a very strong relationship that you have with somebody, whether it be a lover, whether it be a close friend. And, you know, there is just something very tumultuous and adverse that you have to let go of in order to get to this point. So now you have clarity on how to get exactly what you want. Okay, how to get that wish fulfillment. The last card that you guys have for your present moment is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords, this talks about conflict, um, you know, pettiness, just turmoil. And that's what you guys are turning your back on. Or maybe this is a sort of conflict because um, you're maybe expanding in a way that someone feels uncomfortable with. And this could be vice versa as well. All right. So again, wherever the bullshit's coming from, you guys turn your back completely on it and you're able to really excel in a huge way. Okay. But maybe you're upset with how it went down. Okay. Maybe you guys did something that was dramatic. But what's clear to me is that you guys have something in your life right now that should not be there it's not a good idea okay with the world card in the verse you're you're putting off whatever it is and you know that you could already expand without it and you know that it's tumultuous you know that you have to let it go um but it's a sense of taking that final step okay all right sagittarius so moving into the future the first card that we have is five of cups now this could be a card of loss but the reason, you know, the hugest reason why a person will feel a loss when this card comes out is because they're focusing on that loss. They're not focusing on what they still have going for themselves and what's still available to them in life. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles here. And we have the Five of Wands. So fighting, arguing, a sense of bickering, something that's debilitating. For some of you, maybe this is in regards to something that you were trying to build, um, especially if it has something to do with business or finance. Um, this could be something to do with a child that is a page. It could be something that has to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you may have around. But someone's really going to be on edge because somebody just wasn't being honest and truthful in something okay now the next card that you guys have is a hermit card in the reverse so this is a need to come out of your shell but it's also a need to realize that there might be things in your life where you don't have all the facts something that may look good to a certain extent but it's like have you done your full research on it okay why is this card here you have the ace of swords Did a card just fall? It sounded like a card fell. All right, or maybe I'm just going crazy. I'll take the crazy. All right, and we have the Knight of Swords here. For some of you, maybe this is something that has to do with the Libra Aquarius or Gemini, but there's a need to, from what I see just overall, to come out of your shell, all right? To have this new start for yourself, but to be very strong and cutting off ties with things that no longer serve you, okay? When you have the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords, these are people, well, these are energies rather that, you know, this is a person who's not fucking around. This is a person that really wants to get from point A to point B with zero derailment. So, you know, with the swords in the air, they're going to do just that. And they're willing to, you know, cut and attack if they need to. If, you know, there's anything or anyone who tries to throw them off course, <laughs> The last card that you guys have for the future is the Page of Wands. So maybe some sort of offer that you guys are making or something um, that you're working on that you're very passionate about. Could be a person, could be a project. We have the King of Swords. Maybe it's Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And you have the Seven of Swords. So there's something that you guys are really focused on, and I feel like you're working on this in silence. And you're probably working on it in silence because of something else in your life that didn't work out. So maybe you just don't want the two to interfere, okay? So, um, for example, maybe if you, um, let's say you leave someone that, you know, you've ran your course with them, the relationship's not working anymore, and you have something else that's incredible, but you don't necessarily want to put it on Facebook just yet because you could get backlash from your past, all right? So I just see something that you guys are building, and you're doing it in a very intelligent way, and you're trying to protect what it is. Okay, so it's something that you're going to keep on the low until you can manifest something good from it. Okay, so a lot of expansion, guys. So I'm going to pull you guys three cards of advice and then I'll pull you guys an oracle card and let's see what comes up. Give me three cards of advice. 
for the sign of Sagittarius. So y'all have Knight of Wands, Two of Cups in the reverse, the Empress card, okay? Losing faith in something, having to let something go, whether it's a person or just a path that you were going to take in life, and that's what brings you towards a new start. Now, with whatever it is that you guys have to let go of, it doesn't take away your power. You're still in the upright. You're still here. You're still showing up. You're still able to excel in life, okay? But... For those of you that have someone from your past coming back in, okay, or maybe someone from your past you're trying to reconcile with, in this case, I don't necessarily see that being successful. I see there being a lot of illusion there, but, um, you know, use that gut instinct. We have the King of Wands, the Five of Swords in the reverse. Whatever it is that you're dropping, you're doing it because you just don't want conflict. And you have the two of pentacles in the reverse. So you guys literally boss up when you let go of something and you get so much balance and you're able to go towards a whole new better beginning here. Okay. So something that's just not going to work out. And this is tied to something that just has a lot of conflict, a lot of problems. So again, if it's something that's, you know, giving you a headache at this point, it's not needed. It's unnecessary. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to pull you an Earth Magic Oracle card. Um, now, I don't know if I told you guys a deck, but this deck that I just used um, is the Wild Unknown Tarot. And then this is Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. All right, so let's see what pops up in regards to guidance here. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it all. Let's talk about it. All right, so where do I want to start? Okay, there, I'm, I'm just going to do this the way that it makes sense to me, but I see some sort of disconnect between you and your higher self right now. Um, there's something that's kind of holding you back from being fully tapped into yourself, guys. And that's what's getting in the way of something that's going to be big and something that's worth celebrating. Now, you have Wake Up Call and you have Ancestors. I really love this Ancestor card um, because I just feel a lot of power that a person can invoke when this card comes up. So what this is telling you is that there's going to be something, you know, that's really stirring your life up right now where you're going to have no choice, Sagittarius, but to pay attention and to wake up and smell the coffee, okay? Now, to find strength to tap in to whatever it is that you have to do at this point, look within yourself and look within your ancestors, look within your lineage, this is where your power is going to come from right now. So there's a sense of you being disconnected to yourself and the universe is asking you, connect, okay? Connect and don't be afraid to call on your spirit guides and call on your ancestors to help guide you to what you're going towards. All the power that you need to get this next part of your life accomplished, it's there. But what you guys need to realize is that it's all within you, all right? I had mentioned this in, I forgot which video, but if any of you watch Vampire Diaries, there's this one part where um, there's, you know, witches in it, but there's this one part where this one witch, Bonnie, she has to do this huge spell. And it's something that could kill her because it requires so much energy. And I just remember, like, out of the whole thing, it was the most powerful scene that I had seen in the whole entire series because... Out of nowhere, you see all her ancestors popping up. People, you know, that we've already seen in the storyline, but that they're all passed away. They're deceased. And that gives her such a push. What it is that you need to accomplish right now, you don't have to look outside of yourself. You have it. The people in the lineage that you come from have within them the power for you to do this. Invoke that, okay? Um, and, you know, it's not a bad thing. Light, light a candle. Tell your ancestors to help guide you. Because here's your energy. 
the communion card in the reverse. Okay? So when you see it upright, it's a man who's fully tapped into nature. Okay? An animal and a man that have full respect for one another. They realize that they're both, you know, living, breathing, you know, beings on this planet. So here there's some again there's some sort of disconnect guys where you're not connecting as deeply as what you need to all right maybe you've been living in a shallow way maybe you've been you know self-medicating or something like that and you've kind of been living in this blur but something's going to happen whether you want it to or not where you have no choice but to act accordingly to this new chapter in your life so whatever that disconnect is coming from it's literally getting in the way of something amazing that wants to come in for you guys all right so it's up to you if you want it all right everything that you need to get past whatever you're in is there but it's within you okay so tap in guys tap in all right so i like this let's see where this goes i'm going to do the next reading for you guys it's going to be the june readings but um like I said, if you want to check out my Instagram, High Vibrations 44. And then in regards to personal readings, guys, I am letting everyone know this. Um, as of now, I do offer 30-minute readings and question options. And you can find this on my website, highvibrationswithliz.com. Um, it is in the description, uh, description below. However, um, I've gotten to the point where I have decided that in the next few months, like three to four months at most, um, I'm no longer going to be doing one-on-one -on -one personal readings, guys, just because it's at the point where I am doing so so much in my life and it's just so overwhelming um to have to deal with the one-on-one -on -one that i just i just feel like i'm not living a balanced life i just feel like it's always work 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 and even if i go like on a weekend getaway i always feel so so guilty and kind of like sick to my stomach because of all the work i have to do so um you know i've loved the fact that i've been able to connect to so many people but now i'm at a point where you know i don't have to work as much and i've been wanting to travel the world and i've been wanting to work on other projects so i was never able to do that because i would wake up read all day go to bed and just be exhausted and just um i was kind of losing who i was and what it is that i want to do in life and you know i know that i love tarot but there's so many other goals that i have and i think it's time for the next chapter so with that being said if you or any of your friends have been wanting to get any personal readings take advantage now okay because um in three or four months is going to be completely cut out okay guys so i love you guys so much i wish you the best with this and i'll be back with your june readings take care sag